Yo, what is good people? This is Azazel the Demonic and today we are going to be doing a deck review and some arena battles. Yes, we are indeed. This video is dedicated to a Heroes of Camelot player called Fatality who is in Percival 47. This guy really helped me out um, with my deck, so therefore this video is dedicated to him. Peace, brother. Anyway. I could just jump in and preload it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it the slow way so you guys can check out. Basically, with your first team, this team needs to be the team that takes the most damage. Therefore, you're going to need a health point multiplier. This one, I found to be the best personally as what I can do, which is increase the 200% health points and reflect 40% damage. It's a pretty damn good deck. Um party should i say no team even i'll get my words right in a minute the second one now again i'm doing this in preference to my deck um we'll kind of go over what other people can do but with my one this is where all my attack comes from so you've got the 180 percent which is for ice lord and for infernus and then uh melgrim pen dragon's individual increased attack bonus by 125 percent which in total is 305 percent attack increase oh my god i'm knackered um, so, this one, this is the team that makes all the difference in my party, and this is why the video is dedicated to Fatality, because that amazing person showed me this, because I would have never done this, purely because I overlooked one little thing, and I very much recommend that if you have this combination, to do it. Rhiannon the Fair, um, Igrain, Nimua the Lake and Morgana the Young. That bonus is increase your entire party's health points by 125%. Sorry, what I'm doing there. Sometimes sometimes I flip between Galsra and Rhiannon the Fair, but I'm trying to go for the strongest and seeing as Rian, Blighted Rhiannon has the most uh, health points, we'll go. You know, some, in some senses, it's good for uh, to have Galzra because he has the instant kill enemy team, but hey-ho. So anyway, I'm just uh, wibbly-wobbling it. Uh, sometimes you can switch up between where your attack, your strongest attack party lies. This is the order in which I have mine. Um, and when we get into the arena, I'll explain a little bit more, but you can flip between, in this case, the, the, the second and the third team. But without a shadow of a doubt, your first team needs to be the strongest health points attack. They need to take the pounding. So, let's get on with it. Sukiyara! Let's get it on. So, check out that health pointage of the first team. Nearly four and a half million health points. That is a crazy amount. A crazy amount of health points. So that literally is there just to take an ass pounding. Now, the second team, again, like I say, you could put it at the back. But the problem with having your strongest attack at the back is unless you are a veteran at this game and just have ridiculous um, you know, um, high evolved cards, you know what I mean? I'm mainly talking about the godly cards uh, evolved into the mystic cards. Is that if, you know, you can you can switch up between the second and the third, but the problem is, is that if you put the highest attack at the back, if, you ha if your opponent has a lot of uh, damage enemy team, damage enemy party things, usually the highest attack is not the best with regards to health points. So if that gets taken out and the rest of your team doesn't have pretty crap attack, then you're going to lose quicker, if you understand my meaning. It's only going to be a matter of time. So you need it realistically in second place so that it can activate a bit quicker. Now, again, there is no... Um, there's no sort of order, in a sense, to how the cards activate. You know, you have your first, your second, your place, which goes off the um, uh, the skill proximity. Now, at the end of the day, you know, for example, in my second team, Uther, Uther Pendragon, you know, he does the uh, stun entire enemy party and damages the whole enemy party by 300,000 um, attack points. He hasn't activated in probably the last 
50 battles that I've had. Now, he's second in line. Do you understand my meaning? He's second in line, so by rights, he should. But, it, you know, it, it doesn't. It, you can't guarantee which cards are going to activate. But, what I recommend is that you throw cards in there. One that has a good either party health recovery or a good team health recovery. So, for example, um, with Van Brail in the front, you know, he can go up to a million health recovery. You know what I mean? He can go up to a million. So he needs to be in there, which just happens to be good because it's part of that team combo, which is 200% health increase, plus the 40% reflect. My last team is all health recovery cards apart from Morgana. Um, so, you know, Rhiannon the Fair, she regenerates your whole party. Igraine does the same, but on a gradual three-round basis. Nimua the Lake, she does your whole party. Just that little bit of difference can make the difference between winning and losing. But again, it all depends which card activate. Now, for example, it's like, you know, Swordsman, just now, right? The last six or seven battles I had with him, I lost every single time. Every single time I was losing. But as you saw right there, I, ju I just won. Now we're going to go against, against him again. I, I uh, might probably lose this time. Again, it just depends on which cards are going to activate. Now, this is a good start. Because I've silenced the, the whole team. Um, as far as the individual cards are concerned. Now the actual team itself can hit with the full force of the total attack. But the individual cards can't activate. So which basically means in hindsight. You know Neural Hellbringer. No he can't activate. Uh, Melguin can't activate. Uther can't activate. Ice Overlord can't activate. And then going back. You know. Um, the um, Morgan. Uh, no Modred. She can't activate. So. You know, it, it's one of them. It just all depends on how the cards activate. But it does, you know, bring into question how you do organise your team. So, you know, for example, if I'd have put the third team at the front, um, or even the second team at the front and the first team in second or third, by the law of how the statistics are, I, I, I wouldn't win. So, you know, you've got to arrange it in a way that's going to win. And it does take some trial and error. You know, it really does. And, you know, I, I was lucky because uh, Fatality helped me out and said, you know, you need to try this out because that third team, I'd have never done that. I totally overlooked the 125% total party health increase. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the difference. I'd have still had, like, the Crack Knights or, or something. Do you know what I mean? I'd have had Uther with Igrain or, or something like that. Or... Um, chain wall with uh, Valkyrie the Scorch and um, and Melguin. Do you know what I mean? It, it, so, you know, like, right there. There you go. See? I I just uh, I just won again against Swordsman. I'm not disrespecting Swordsman because he is a fantastic party. Um, you, uh, party. He has a fantastic deck. You know what I mean? And he beat me six times in a row. So it all just depends how the cards activate. I'm going to shut up for a bit now. I'm going to put on a bit of music so that you guys can chill and watch. And it ain't going to be me singing, so don't worry. It's going to be me rapping. Ha! <laughs> yeah. You heard it right. So sit back, relax, and peep this shit. Yo. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. right. You better believe it. A Zazel the Demonic Raps. Please believe, aka Seven Sins. Share it to my motherfucking crew. Got the fucking crew. Got the music worldwide. I don't you motherfucking I. 25 crew. Switchblade crew. UK ground. Knows the fucking time. Heroes are calm. I'm not playing, so where you at? I'm coming with the 305% attack increase. Leave you deceased, I will release. I blast that impact out of the gals of his teeth. Sounds of your party, yo, and damage your team. Health recovery, yes, they know what I mean You can switch your deck up or even fully alive. Don't the bottom line, motherfuckers, I'm gonna eat you alive There's no disguise with a pin dragon to be running the attack With furnace and the ice, overlord, he got a black Slash and rip, so destruction when I flip 
Merely six degrees of time is running this bitch Shout out to the realms and all the players I've met So bring your deck, don't be a wall or we will put you to the test Say who's best, who is blessed, about your brain and all that sweat Flow and domination like a virus on your flex And fuck all the butters, you can all suck a fuck Cheating your fucking games, have you lost the fucking clock? So stop, before I come and find where you live And shove your keyboard up your ass from my next fucking bed Don't get down with hackers, but into the old I'd rather have a fair fight, so get in my battle zone Step to the arena, let the battle begin I'm about to smoke your ass, bitch, like my name is Jibba Jin Yeah That's right As always, much respect and much love for everybody that's subscribing and supporting me Peace. Yeah So there we go, people that was me, a.k.a. Seven Sins. Obviously, that was a bit of a little something-something. Yeah, something-something. That I threw together uh, just purely for HLC. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Yeah. But, yeah, no, straight up, um, you know, I've made, like, a kind of small career, if you will, uh, with rapping and DJing and MCing and stuff like that. Very long time ago. Uh, I don't even know how long ago. Maybe... 10 years ago, 11 years ago, you know, I even got signed at one point, I've even supported fucking uh, RZA out of Wu-Tang Clan, that is absolutely no fucking bullshit, <clears throat> but there we go, so anyway, let's get back to fucking business, um, yeah, basically guys, you know, as you can, you know, you probably say, I mean, you've more than likely been distracted by the fact that I rap, um, but, you know, let, let's, let's be sensible here, um, you know, as far as your whole team and, you know, your whole deck is concerned, you obviously have to find a deck that you like. I mean, you know, I really like this deck. Um, you know, I like my whole setup. I like, you know, the, the you know, the, the individual effects of the cards. The only one that I don't like is Hope. That's the only card out of my whole deck I don't like. I just, I hate shields. I, it's just like, whatever whatever the shit <laughs> you understand what i mean but that's just my own personal preference it's almost the same of what um you know oh the dread did do you know what i mean it's just a shield at the end of the day it is what it is um and again you know i i've, I've had a victory now all you know every one you've gone through now has been a victory do you understand what i mean but it's like you know right now you know i'm gonna lose i i'm gonna lose this one straight up uh, you know swordsman before i started you know recording this video he beat me six times in a row and then i just beat him twice in a row do you know what i mean he's now going to beat me again he, he swings and roundabouts at the end of the day you know unless unless you're you know like got just the most retardedly good deck you know what i mean it's gonna be swings and roundabouts you win some you lose some you win some you lose some and that is you know that's it people um I hope that has, uh, you know, been entertaining for people, um, and I hope for all the new people, um, it's been, you know, it's been helpful as well. So there we are. Much love. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. God bless your faces. Peace out.